Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. 17 months back, same background, same cartons. I did make a video where I shared my Amazon intern interview experience. And today again, uh, I'm sitting on the same, with the same background, but yeah, definitely a bumped up setup. And I'm again making a video where I'll be sharing my interview experience. But I think this time it's something which I always dreamt of. I don't think I, I did dream of it when I joined uh, my college because uh, my college uh, only had TCS visiting on campus at that time. I was like, okay, if I get a 40,000, 50,000 job, I'll be more than happy or more than satisfied. But uh, today sitting over here, I think I am very, very happy and glad to announce that I'll be joining Google Warsaw today. Yeah, today itself. That is why I'm launch, uh, releasing this video. So in this video, uh, I will be talking about my interview experience. How did I land up this international offer? And the second thing that I'll be talking about is my preparation because I was working full time. I was managing a YouTube channel. I was teaching at an academy. Uh, so along, uh, along with all these stuffs, how did I manage to prepare? And how was the rounds and every every stuff I'll be talking about this. So yeah, without waiting, let's get started. So let's get started with the interview experience and then I'll be talking about uh, the preparation strategy. Now the interview experience uh, international is a different. No, it's not different. Like the way you apply to India is uh, like, it's a similar way that you apply to international as well. What do you do? What you need to do is you just need to get hold of a Google employee. And once you get hold of him, you can ask him to refer uh, you. And once you're referred, now remember, whenever a Google uh, employee refers you, you're allowed to uh, apply to three positions at max, at max in a month. And after the month, the uh, referral expires. Again, you can retake uh, the referral and again, you can apply, but you cannot apply to more than three positions uh, on the careers portal. So I was trying to apply to a lot of positions like Google London, Google uh, Munich and a lot of other places. But unfortunately, they were at that moment not hiring Indians. So I did not hear back. And uh, I kept on trying internationally because I was thinking of uh, getting an international offer. So I kept on trying and uh, I was following LinkedIn a lot. So I saw a couple of Indian uh, CP programmers who were my friends, they got offers from Google Warsaw. That is when I reached out to them and I asked them, are they hiring? And then they asked me to follow a couple of recruiters. And then I was seeing that, okay, they are also posting that there's a lot of hiring going on in Google Warsaw. As the moment I thought, okay, I should definitely apply. And I got hold of my friend who uh, referred me and I applied to that position. I just applied to one position and within a couple of hours, yes, I applied, I think around, uh, at 12 p.m. and I was uh, called at around 2 p.m. that hey listen we have got your application and these are the questions can you please answer it and after that uh, she asked me for a time slot where she could uh, schedule a recruiter call like I'm, I'm saying she because my recruiter was a, a lady uh, a recruiter will be assigned to you and uh, she will schedule she or he will schedule a call so the call was scheduled and in that call, the recruiter will ask you some questions. Now, it won't be like algorithmic questions. It will be much more of time complexity, a very, very basic stuff, very basic stuff. So she did ask me and she was satisfied that I am ready for the interview. And she asked me that uh, this will be the steps like she uh, briefed me that this these will be the steps of the interview. So the steps of the interview where the first round will be a telephonic screening round, a phone screening, they call it over there. It's a simple Google Meet round where they'll be giving you one question or probably follow-ups and have to solve it. After that one round, they will decide whether to continue with, with you or not. After that one round, if they decide they will be continuing with you, they'll move to the next set of the rounds. So initially, uh, after the recruiter screening, uh, she asked me, how much time do I require to prepare? Now, generally, the recruiter will ask you how much time do you require? It is not mandatory that you have to interview in the next week. You can ask time for three weeks, four weeks, whatever time you require. It's on you. You can ask your uh, time, but don't ask five, six months. Then they will not consider you. Try asking for three or four weeks if you are not prepared. So in my case, I told her that I am prepared. You can interview me whenever you wish to. So uh, she scheduled my first telephonic screening round and it went very good. Like I got a good feedback that the code quality is good. Uh, he's very fast in thinking and all these kind of feedbacks. I got it. And after that, the recruiter again reached out saying that I've cleared the telephonic screening round. 
Now remember, a lot of uh, time you will be rejected in telephonic screening round. A lot of times it will happen that it is 50-50, like the telephonic screening round is like 50-50. They probably will give you one more telephonic screening round. So it might be a one round or a two round or you might get rejected. So after the telephonic screening round, the recruiter uh, reached out to me and asked me that they are happy to move ahead and they will be scheduling the final set of interviews. Now what are the final set of interviews? There will be five interviews. In this, one will be Googliness. You can Google about that. It's specifically HR kind of question. Situation based questions will be asked to you. And the other four rounds will be specifically on data structures and algorithms. Like I applied since I just had one year of experience. I was eligible for the L3 role, which is software engineer 2 at Google. Uh, starting a software engineer too. So L3 role is what I was eligible for. So I had four data structure algorithmic rounds and one googliness after that. So again, uh, the similar procedure will apply and recruiter will ask you how much time do you require? And you can take again a couple of weeks or three or four weeks. In my case, I said that I'm prepared. You can uh, schedule whenever you wish to. Now, depending on your uh, availability, you can give them your dates that this is these are the dates I'm available. You can schedule the interview. Recruiter did uh, schedule all my four interviews of uh, data structure algorithms and one googliness round. Now, might be asking where the level was the level tough or easy. I cannot disclose the questions due to the NDA that I have signed, which is non-disclosure agreement. I'll be saying the questions were specifically of lead code. Uh, I can say if I compare it will be like lead code medium or probably lead code hard, uh, like not that hard, but yeah, lead code hard, the easier ones of lead code hard and the medium one, the higher ones of medium. But the common stuff that I did observe from those interviews were speed matters, like because they will be coming up with a lot of questions, follow up questions. So the more you solve, it's better. It's not like that you have to solve all uh, the questions that they're coming up with. But it's better, like the faster you do, it's better for you. So I gave all the four rounds and I gave the Googliness round. And right after that, I think in a week, the recruiter reached out and said that the feedback was good and they would love to move me uh, to the hiring committee. But what is hiring committee in Google? Basically, whenever you give all the rounds, now Google has a very different uh, set of interview rounds. Like it won't be like, uh, what to say, elimination. Like there's nothing like a do or die you are allowed to give all the four data to algorithm round and the Googliness round. And after that, your fate is decided. So even if you uh, like mess up one round, it's okay. Okay, like it isn't mandatory that you have to give all the rounds. Like that is what I felt like if, if you are giving, like I've talked to a lot of people, Google gives you an opportunity to be tested throughout. So you are allowed to give all the rounds. And after that, they decide if your feedback is absolutely bad, they will say, okay, uh, they, 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 these are the points where you need to improve and probably you can try out next time. But if your feedback is good enough, what they do is they will ask you to move to the hiring committee. Now, even if your feedback is good and positive and they're moving you, like even if the recruiter says that the feedback is all good and we can move you to the hiring committee, that doesn't mean that you're hired. That's, that's uh, again, one more thing about Google. The hiring committee will go through all the staffs, all the code and everything. And after that, they will pass a judgment. Now over here, there is something as team matching. Nowadays for me, the team matching happened before the hiring committee because of some sudden stuffs in India. A lot of times team matching happens after hiring committee passes their judgment. So the team matching might happen here or there. For me, the team matching happened after all my rounds. So in team matching, again, it's on you. They will be telling you that this is the team which wants to hire you. Uh, they will schedule an interview uh, sorry they schedule a meeting or a discussion with the manager of that team and you can ask what are the projects that you'll be working with what is the tech stack everything you can ask whatever questions you have if you feel comfortable that okay this is a tech stack that i want to work with and if this is the stuff that uh, okay i'm looking forward to this is the project that i want i really want to do you can tell a yes and you will be mapped to that team and if you're feeling that okay i'm not comfortable with this with this tech stack or probably i need a better project you can st uh, straight away tell the recruiter that please map me to some other team and she'll again come with some other team they will be coming up with teams as long as you are not satisfied so this is the best thing about google in other companies they'll be like okay this is the team you have to work with this team but at google you get an opportunity to select which team you want to work with so for me uh, the first team that came up i was pretty satisfied because it was a very new project and i did love the tech stack so i did uh, say a straight away yes and after that uh, the hiring committee happened and the hiring committee uh, did uh, uh, 
hire me and they give a lot of feedbacks uh, the most important feedback i uh, got was the code quality uh, specifically they did like my code quality and speed uh, at which i was solving and the explanation skills really the explanation skills was because of my youtube videos and everything and this is how it happened and after that there will be a negotiation phase they will offer you something and after that if you have uh, some other offers you can tell them that okay this company is providing me this and i am expecting so and so and number games will go and the negotiation will happen and after that they will give you the final offer letter if you are agreeing you will sign it up and uh, they will make sure that everything else is arranged for you now you might be thinking it's an international offer was it very different no i did interview for india and i did interview for this warsaw i did not find any uh, difficulty level like it was pretty much similar and uh, like whenever you're giving a google interview like they will not say ki, okay he's interviewing for warsaw so let's ask him tough or let's ask him easy it's nothing like that so that is a myth which goes around that this is easy this is hard no they do not discriminate probably on campus i'm not sure but specifically if you're applying via career portal i don't think there is a discrimination anyways let's uh, move ahead what after the negotiation fees now you might be thinking uh, international offer do you need to arrange everything by yourself no you don't need to arrange everything by yourself they will be have they will be having a lot of teams they will do your background check work permit visa everything will be done via them relocation everything you don't have to worry they have for everything they have a team so it's as smooth as it can get now going forward the preparation strategy how did i prepare did i prepare something different now i will i'll highlight a uh, point over here i was making youtube videos from the last one year if you check out this channel i've been teaching dns algorithms so i was already like prepared with dns algorithms i did not have to prepare anything different so i pretty much prepared and uh, that's why i did not require any further time but still at the last like whatever couple of weeks i got how did i prepare what i did was i opened my sd sheet uh, as you know, the Strivers SG sheet, which is very, very famous. And you can check out all the success stories at my Instagram. So I just opened that and I opened my videos. I put it on 2x and I was like, okay, this is the concept. This is the concept. This is the concept. And I just went through the entire SD sheet and I had a quick revision about all the concepts. And after that, what I did was I went to lead code and there's an interview experiences section. And I opened Google tagged uh, interview experience, all of them. And I just went through the last 10 pages of interview experience, the last couple of years, all of the interview experience. Uh, something other one as uh, Carrier Cup, which is again, uh, has a lot of Google interview experiences. I went through that as well. Uh, these are the specific things that I did. And along with that, I had an eye on the lead code contest that was going around and all the Google tech questions. Again, uh, doing Google tech questions gives you more confidence that you can solve it. It's not that same question will come, but it'll give you an inner confidence that, okay, I am able to solve Google tech questions offline, like while well, I'm practicing, so I will be able to solve it. So that was about the interview experience and the preparation stuff. Now I'll give you some important points that might help you if you have a Google interview scheduled in the upcoming days. Now, the first point that you need to uh, be very careful about is speed. The Google interview is around 40 minutes, like the DS algorithms is about 40 minutes. And generally, uh, people take a lot of time to solve a problem and they are not able to answer follow ups. Like basically, they don't have enough time to address the follow ups. The questions are not that tough, but since people lack practice, people are slow. So they reach the solution in a certain time and then they again code it, they take a lot of time. So time is important, speed is important. So try to give as many lead code contests as possible try to do as many problems as possible a second tip that i'll give is give you is code quality now google does focus a lot lot in code quality for that purpose you can check out my this particular video uh, in to understand how to improve your code quality so code quality is very important don't write code uh, like a beginner or a fresher probably they you might get rejected don't write code that you write in code for sir code chef you will get rejected try to have the code quality as good as possible the third thing, and this is a very, very important thing. When you've written the code, always try to take an edge case and try to dry run the code. Okay. And always, whenever you're writing the code, always be right at the face of the interview. Explain every possible thing. Don't be mum. Communication is important. Okay. Speed, code quality, communication. These three things will probably take you through any of the interviews, be it Google, be it Facebook, any of the interviews, it will definitely take you through. 
so yeah before wrapping up this interview experience i would uh, love to thank the entire community uh I feel uh, the entire community of Take You Forward has an important part because if I was not making videos, if I was not teaching, if I was not getting feedbacks from you, I don't think I would be so good enough to get into Google. And trust me, for a tier three boy, of and like just get college me, you just get TCS. For him to get into Google, probably before that, direct I before that Amazon, an academy, GFG. I think it's a lot. and thank you so much to everyone for the huge support and yes uh, if you have watched this video till now please make sure like this video if you're new to this channel you can check out the other like all the data structure algorithmic content i'm sure that you will feel like subscribing to this so do subscribe and if you haven't checked out other channels striver make sure you check it out and yes please do check out the striver is d sheet because that is the that is the stuff which will help you to prepare and now with this let's wrap up this video please make sure you like this video bye bye team.